All right, hi everybody, I'm Robin, and I uh, built an app that's called a sequencer. And basically the idea behind this app um, is that if you're someone who has like a melody running through your head all the time, but maybe you don't play piano um, or some other kind of instrument that you can input into a sequencer, um, you can just sing to the app and it's going to try and interpret uh, what you're singing into musical notes, uh, which it will then play on your instrument of choice. And I built this app using React Redux and the Tone.js uh, library. And um, I sort of tried to break down the problem into several different parts. So the first problem was, how do I get it to know uh, the rhythm that someone's singing uh, in terms of uh, the timing of that? And so to do that, we have a, a metronome, basically, that we can set just by tapping it. So it's very intuitive. Um, I can just give it a beat here. So now it's playing the, the beat that I just gave it. <coughs> I can um, just demonstrate quickly um, that I can give it like a faster beat. Now it's going to play faster. I can give it a slower beat. And it's going to play slower. I also have a slider down here where once I've set the beat, I can then adjust the volume um, to a different speed to make it slower or really speed it up. Um, and then I can also take the metronome out if I don't want to hear it anymore. I can just turn the volume down. So that was sort of to, to get our time grid going. Then um, the percussion up here that you see is actually just tap to play. Um, you can hear it now. And if I s set up my tempo again, I'm going to make this a little bit slower. time. So now I'm sequencing uh, the kick and the snare just by tapping those instruments. And then the fun part was really trying to figure out how I can get it to detect pitch and translate that pitch into uh, the, the notes that would be played either on the bass or the piano. Um, and so I'll do a live demo of how that's working right now. Uh, this was definitely the toughest part, but let me see if this will work for us right now. Slow it down a little bit. Uh, and actually, um, let me turn this off. in sort of putting this together that pitch detection might be uh, something that uh, machine learning could be applied to, where if you take a data set of people recognizing pitches and try to get the computer to do the same, that that would be a great way to, to get into that. Um, and that is the sequencer. Thank you very much.